The God of the living is this matrix God called Maya in India. It's called illusion. In Gnosticism, it's got several names. It's called Adolabra. This is a God, or it's called the holographic universe. The world you live in don't exist. It's a series of events that never existed. I'll explain that. We are somewhere in the universe. Bouncing around. I'll show you. Let me, let me get this part first. Let me hold that. Let me get this right. The Dogon say that in the beginning there was nothing existed but Sirius B. The Greeks say, which is the Etruscans say, that in the beginning, before the creation of the universe, the only thing that existed was Gaia. But Gaia is the earth. Do you know before the universe existed, the earth existed? It just wasn't in the physical. So, the, so they call it Mother Earth, the great mother, Tiamat, Earth. When Tiamat was overthrown, they just turned her into physical and trapped her into a physical earth. So the earth was always here. The great war that was fought in heaven was fought right, right here on earth. And in so many words, we were trapped and bound. And basically, they slowed down the physical realm. The book, the book Cabalion, three initiates, Cabalion, K-A-B-L-O-N, K-A-B-A-L-O-N, Cabalion, not Kabbalah, Cabalion, the three initiates, show you the hermetic laws. First law of the hermetic laws is the law of vibration. Everything vibrates. This is just vibrating at a slower pace, and it's dense. But everything vibrates. They slowed down the vibratory rate, and we got trapped in these physical dense bodies. This is a prison. It's trapped the soul. Meanwhile, we had these more advanced senses. And we maneuvered just like semi-physical gods. In the beginning, when we first came to this earth, and this earth was first formed, it's a lot of this material. It's Rudolf Steiner's book, Universe, Earth, and Man. Awesome book. Even me and Richard King was talking about it. Awesome book. Rudolf Steiner, that was Adolf Hitler's teacher before, Ad before Adolf Hitler kicked, his, kicked him out of Germany and all. But he was, it was all a part of the Rosicrucian and Thule Society and Viril Society and all this stuff. Universe, Earth, and Man is the name of the book. And there's another book called Cosmic Memory by Rudolf Steiner. He's some awesome books. In that universe, earth, and man, he says that in the beginning, the physical world was like a little dim mist, and the spiritual world was illumined. As the vibratory rate fell, the physical world became more and more visible, and the spiritual world disappeared. It's all on the same earth. So the Physical world is the illusionary world. Is a book, Michael Talbert's book, Holographic Universe. That's a science book, dropping on that shit. The Holographic Universe. None of this shit down here is real. We'll get into that in a few minutes. So, when the physical world came into view and we developed this physical body and these two eyes, the spiritual senses later on shut down and we became more, more dependent on five senses. You know the white man said that we don't use no more than 10% of the brain. No. He don't use no more than 10% of the brain. We used to, the other part of the brain is the pineal brain. But because he has a calcified pineal gland that don't work, he can only use 10% of the brain. And because we grew up in a society that's only conducive for 10% of the brain, our shit shut down based on this society we live in that's ruled by the white man who can only use 10% of the brain. Guess what shuts down the damn pineal gland? Monotheistic religion. One deity system. Fucks your black ass right on up. One deity system. When they established the one God system, See, let's just deal with some stuff. 
based on deprogramming yourself. And, and Asa Hilliard said this. I ask you this question. Take yourself out of your religion. If the ancient worshiped many gods, would anything be wrong with that? No. Only because somebody told you it was something wrong with it. See, that's a, that's, see what I'm saying? That's programming. Reality is only what you told yourself it is. Sanity is only what you told yourself it is. If you deprogram yourself. Now, what does this thing mean? First of all, they worship several components of the one God, the God one. But you cannot explain the body of the God system or the deity system through one monotheistic term. It's too vast. You don't have nothing on this earth that you break it down. A fucking automobile, you can't say it's just a headlight. That's ludicrous. I drive a headlight. No, motherfucker, you got a damn gaskets, pistons, batteries, transmission. See what I'm saying? Even the, you see, so the one deity system shuts down in your brain. It's called the archetypes of the collective unconsciousness. And the melanin works on a multi-deity system. It's chaos. It never stops moving. Okay, go ahead and put that in. Y'all all right? It's some good shit here. It's chaos. It never stops moving. It never stops moving. How the hell are you going to put a name on this? That's what your melanin looked like photographed. How the hell are you going to name that shit? That's chaos. So they needed a multiple deity system just to tap into that. They had to break it down, dissect it. So these multiple deity systems tap into what is called the archetype of the collective unconsciousness. You see what I'm coming from? When you break it down to one deity, this shit goes dormant. And goes dormant and you go offline. 